hi friends welcome to tutorial is and in this video i'm going to show you how to use used seo used seo is one of the very popular plugin for seo for any wordpress website so i will show you step by step how you can install and how to use this used seo and how you can get benefit from this so let me show you practically so first log into your wordpress admin panel so in my case i'm just logging in here then you go to plugin here then click on install plugin or add new add new then you can see this interface here search used seo so simply type here used you can then see this one click on install here then you can see it's so installing and then click on activate okay now it says new notifications so let me click here okay so finally came here now this one is installed then click on general under the dashboard click on SEO optimization now I'm getting this error it is saying that my website is blocked through robots.txt so yes it's true because in uh, settings in reading I have blocked this website from search engine so I need to first uncheck this only then this used will work now click on general okay so that warning is not gone click on dashboard now let's click on search appearance here you can see what will be the separator of the title so it will be a hyphen okay suppose you have given two titles here for example by default you can see the separator is hyphen okay so it is this it is saying that what will be the separator between two words so this one is hyphen and now for home page you can see this is how the title will work so first is site title then page separator tagline like this and from here only you can add your meta tag so it'll be complete technical learning as you know this should be normally 165 character complete learning start learning technical subjects like like digital marketing angular react
at JS edition. If you save changes, and check its view source from here then you can see meta description here start learning your technical subjects like digital marketing England, etc so, so this meta description you can change from here and also you can see here social settings that means if I share this page into my Facebook like here then which image will come here oh since my this website is blocked from Facebook that's why I can't show you but in some other cases what happens it shows you the thumbnail here so if you want to change thumbnail from here then you can select and change your image and finally it will show the thumbnail in facebook or twitter so you can select your image from here and also social title this is the website title if you want to keep your social title different from your main title in meta description then you can change from here the title as well as meta description for social media separately that means when people will share your website this title and this meta description will show in social media so suppose I'm just giving different title like uh, learn enhance your knowledge with latest technical subjects then if you want to enhance your knowledge then this website can be your best place okay now let's update and here if you refresh then you can see the title of the website is this the main title but OG title if you see then that means social media title is different here similarly the main website description is different and here the social media description is different so this is what does it mean here so hope you understand what i mean the title and the image and description can be different here and apart from that you can also update here knowledge graph or schema but this section i will uh, cover in detail in another video that how schema works and how you can set your schema and how this is beneficial in detail i will uh, discuss this in separate video so I'm not going to cover this one but up to here it's fine this is also one of the important points here you can set your breadcrumb from here this used seo so let me uh, just uh, give you knowledge that what this breadcrumb is all about if you go any website like uh, say amazon.com then click on any of the category say all then select like, and then music then this Then I'm going to click any of these. What's happening? Strange. So there's not clickable here, I think. Electronics. This. Then I can click here. Okay. 
So this is called breadcrumb. It is showing you that this is the main category and under this, this is subcategory. Cell phone accessories, right? So if you want to show your in your website this kind of breadcrumb, then this Yoast SEO provides you the facility from where you can enable your breadcrumb. So in case in my website, what happens here? If I click on any of these, then there is no any breadcrumb because it depends on the themes also. So in my theme, it doesn't support. So in case I want to integrate these or then how I can do that. Here is the hint. If you click here, then it is showing that how you can display. So in case the theme doesn't support, then there is a facility from where we can integrate that. So it has been given a code here. You can see this. So just copy this one and then I will go to header and settings appearance then theme file editor header theme header and then uh, depending upon where I want to put it so say I want to put it here just I'll give DRV then just I'll copy here and paste so let's see like, yes it's coming here actually I misplaced it it should have been somewhere not here so just let me cut it then this is logo header then menu so maybe under menu I will put it here here let's cut it and then let's put it here inside header one anyway so this depends on you when you want to keep it okay Below menu, if I want to keep, then heading template. So I will just write here one div and paste here. Yeah, you can design it later, but you can see it's displaying home. Then if you click any of these template literal, then this kind of breadcrumb you can enable from your used seo there is another method also through this one you can also display your breadcrumb so the syntax is for this just i'll comment it yes. this then do short code paste inside here and then oh php already started in post so just a, so this is the syntax to display through short code same thing it will appear there then this Okay, so I need to write here echo also. Echo. You can see same thing is also showing here. So you have two options either through this PHP code or through code. So that's it in this video and in the next video I will show you how you can enable your XML sitemap from here and how you can connect your XML sitemap to search engine console. So stay connected and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.